this week's video, I'll be going over the science of web fluid and talk about some ways to create artificial webbing. The basis of web fluid is a liquid that turns into a string-like structure when sprayed out of a pressurized container at a high velocity. The requirements of web fluid include container size. It must be able to fit large amounts of fluid in small, easily containable containers. Nozzle velocity. You must leave the web shooter at greater than 170 feet per second in order to stick to buildings quickly. Web size. It must be less than 6 millimeters thick, but larger than 2 millimeters thick when leaving the nozzle. Web strength. It must be able to hold 900 or more pounds. Web elasticity. It must act similar to a bungee cord and have a greater elasticity to thickness ratio. Web structure. It must be a string-like structure when it leaves the nozzle of the web shooter. An optional requirement is that it must be able to act as a net or a restraint. The spider silk is made of a protein called spidruin. Spidruin is made of several amino acids. Glycine-rich regions give it spider web its elasticity. 42% of spidruin is made of glycine. Alanine-rich regions give spider web its strength. 25% of spider web is alanine. Other amino acids bind it together. That's the remaining 33%. Artificial webbing and modifications. The cleanest artificial webbings <laughs> are made of hydrogel. Strong, but hard to make quickly. Alanine rich regions of the spiderweb can be replaced with carbon nanotubes for double the strength. Now the main issue with synthetic silk is the creation speed and the storage capacity. According to Spider-Man Home. Peter's web fluid contains salicylic acid, toluene, methanol, n heptane, carbon tetrachloride, potassium carbonate, ethyl acetate, hexane, BHA, sodium tetraborate, and silica gel. It also has borax, but that's mainly to clean it. The process is to add 10 mg of toluene plus 4 mg of methanol, bring it to a boil, which for methanol is about 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. Add 20 degrees. 20 grams of carbon tetrachloride, 13.9 uh, grams of potassium carbonate, and 0.52 grams of hexane. Seal the uh, container flask for 15 minutes. Add the activator degas, which can be the ethyl acetate, BHA, sodium tetraborate, and heptane, and or the silica gel and water. Heat slowly for 30 minutes. Cool to an ambient, uh, that's room temperature for 24 hours wash and filter with 40 milliliters of borax and then purify it with silica gel. Here's the breakdown. At 400 degrees Celsius, toluene and methanol create hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are stuff like uh, butane, propylene, cyclopentane, benzene, pretty sure propane is one of them. Um, but that stuff could be used to create carbon nanotubes when combined with carbon tetrachloride, hexane, and potassium carbonate. I'm not really sure what those three do on their own in that certain mixture, but I guess that will be figured out at some point when I get some on my hands to test it. The chemicals 1,6-hexane diamine and tobacco chloride chain together to create a um, string-like substance, which is pretty good. Um, has a lot of issues. The main issues are that both chemicals are corrosive and heavily, and really, really irritating the skin and eyes and everything. Both chemicals have toxic vapors. One sex hexane diamine is explosive and has explosive vapors. The reaction has a byproduct of hydrochloric acid, which is stomach acid, and that breaks down a lot of stuff. It's really bad. It's not really usable as a web fluid unless it's cleaned as it leaves the nozzle and stored in two separate containers that are non corrosible and non conductive. You can't use an electric valve due to the explosive nature of the chemicals. It can be mixed with other things to create stronger and more reliable webs. It can be pressurized with R134A or butane. Now there are two chemicals that can remove the hydrochloric acid. Sodium, hexa, uh, hi sodium hydroxide, which has a byproduct of salt water and hydrogen, so and sodium carbonate, which has a byproduct of salt water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide bat is bad for the atmosphere and stuff, so the winner would be sodium hydroxide. Here's the silly strength formula, which was created by brain oil. Uh, one and one half parts methyl methacrylate, seven parts isopropyl alcohol, 
one third parts tween 80. Mix them together and stir them every 20 minutes for two hours and then freeze them. And then add 10 parts R134A. Uh, that's not like grams, that's not weight, that is um, like teaspoons or tablespoons. It can be mixed with other things, it looks pretty good, and it can be pressurized with more R134A or butane. Um, there's going to be a link to Brain Ion's channel in the description. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to make a web fluid that wasn't shown in this video. It's not really a web fluid, it's a little bit more of an additive to these kinds of web fluids. But I can't get the materials for these web fluids right now, so those will come in a few weeks.